This is one of the most exciting things. If you know anything about me, if you know anything about what this company is, you'll understand why this is one of the coolest things I'm unboxing in the shop. I didn't expect it to be like this. It's not the box that I care so much about as much as what's inside of here. Now, there is a QR code to open this. Tempted to use the hacksaw, but I think we can just hit all these and take it off. So I've known about the guys from Origin for a while now, and it was actually an honor for me that they reached out to me about this. And here is, for me, the combination of all my worlds of being an IT guy and being a car guy. And let me show you just what they have in mind. Beefy power supply, which if it's gonna be a beefy laptop, you gotta put some serious power to it. Let's take this part out. So what they noticed is that I'm constantly tuning. I'm constantly on the go. Joel's helping edit. All those different things are all happening on laptops, not PCs. And so this is extremely wow. light. That, looks that was not tiny, dude. what I was expecting at all. I was expecting this thing to be way heavier. But they had the idea of saying, hey, we see you constantly tuning and looking at logs and doing all, oh. Wow. Let's pause for a second and look at that. That's badass. That is really cool, look at that. Holy shit, that's yeah. badass. Yeah, they they put that on the back of the laptop. That's something that they can do for anybody. That's pretty beefy. That is a thin ass, thin. thin ass laptop. This is a gaming laptop. This has got a 3080 Ti. How does 3080 fit in there? I don't know, I don't know. That is beautiful. Between tuning, <laughs> editing, and looking at logs, I need the bigger screen. This is absolutely amazing. And wait till you see the specs on this thing. 64 gigs of insanely fast RAM, two M.2 hard drives, one's one terabyte, one's two terabytes, and the i9 processor on this thing, I didn't even know existed. Whoa, yeah. you're good to go, dude. Yeah, that is so cool. Would be, how funny it would be if it was backwards, so showing the... <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. So we have an i9-12900. That's a lot of digits. One, two, nine hundred. So it's an i9. 64 gigs of memory, 4,800 megahertz. So 4.8 gigahertz. The C drive is a Samsung. The D drive is a Samsung. This thing is incredible. And there you go. Look at that. One of my favorite things about this, a 3080 Ti graphics card. So it's a discrete card inside of a laptop this small. We would be able to straight up render videos out faster on this than I would ever on my current PC. And so all of that in something this small. How much do you think it weighs? Almost nothing. We could we could measure it. That's not just five. Wow. That is ridiculous. So this is what I've been using, and the bottom half of it is the same thickness. <laughs> That's the whole entire new laptop. And what else blows me away is look at this. This one's wider and bigger and yet the screen is bigger on this one. Wow. Isn't that incredible? That's so sick. I've been lugging this monster around. Joel was just asking about why is this a 15 and this is a 17, and it's because screens are measured diagonally. So we'll start at two, and you can see that that is 17 and a half, so it's technically like a 15 and a half inch screen. And we'll, again, we'll start at two, and we'll go over to here and we're 19 and a quarter, so that's 17 and a quarter. Much bigger laptop screen with a much smaller laptop. My fear about the 17 was, oh man, I won't be able to fit it in my backpack because this thing barely fits in my backpack. This one will. It's much thinner and, and much easier. So for my like filming backpack that the cat pissed on, <laughs> their largest of the three choices will work perfectly well. I understand that looking at a 2018 laptop compared to a brand new one is gonna be a little inequity, but think of it this way. That's what people are upgrading from. They bought a nice laptop before and they wanna move up to a newer one. So we're not gonna do the benchmarking against it because we know it's gonna just be multiple times faster, but I wanted you to see that this laptop's on its last legs. It used to run the whole channel. It's time for a new one. We bought this laptop a little while ago for Joel's editing. And so what better than an actual modern laptop to compare a modern laptop to. So this is the Origin 17 inch. What I want you guys to see is it's modern architecture, it's the speed, it's, there's a combination of a lot of reasons why this one is so much faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and click export. Look at that time, seven minutes. 
You know, it'll, it'll climb up and down when it goes over s smaller things. So like 10 minutes. Yeah, well, yeah, see, it's going back down because there's a, there's a little thing. Yeah, so let me show you something, though. We'll go ahead and bring that up, and we'll look at the total time, 501 right now. What's so important is that it's got this 3080 Ti, and look at that. We're in 100 degree room, so be mindful of that. But the 3080 Ti is at full processing power. The CPU is even doing whatever it can. 33 gigs of memory, cached an extra six gigs. The i9 insane processor is chunking away at about 30%, but, but the workhorse is the 3080 Ti. So that's why that laptop video card matters so much. They call it discrete, six minutes, and we're only a minute in. So I want to point out to you that just like any loading bar in Windows, it never actually knows the correct time. But look at that. That's how quickly, that's a 28, check this out. That is a 28 minute video, full resolution. All the files are loaded into memory on this thing. That's impressive. So we're gonna go ahead and, while that one's going, we're gonna go ahead and do that on this one as well. Same same thing, 4K, Ultra, same, same video, essentially. We'll go ahead and hit this one. And again, you know what it said, 24 minutes, that must, that's not that bad. But now it's saying 31, 40, 48. So same thing, it's gonna max out its video card. And even this is a 1660 Ti, a decent gaming type of laptop. And it's got 40 gigs of RAM. We put 40 gigs of RAM into upgrading this one. But look at... Speaks for so, itself. Yes, yeah, same, same video, same exact content, same transition, save everything. This one actually has more of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I made more changes to this video because Joel and I split ways uh, briefly when I was in Michigan. And so this actually has more content because this says 27 minutes and this is 28 or 29 minutes. Same video otherwise, but more. It just shows you the insane difference modern architecture has and having the right parts inside this laptop. I'm very impressed with this. We know that Origin's 17 inch laptop fits in the same factor as this 15 inch laptop. So what does Origin's 15 inch look like well this is it right here and it is extremely light I'm very impressed with the weight the factor you know the form factor size and wow that's that's it right there infinitely more processing power you know, trying to compare apples to apples because this is what I've been using for a long time but this thing sucks on battery this thing well that's complete opposite. How does this differ from the 17 inch? This is their 15 inch i9 processor laptop and it's got a couple extra features. <laughs> it actually has uh, visual scanning like that. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at what's on this. This retails for about $3,200 where the 17 inch retails at just around $4,000. Now that does include the UV special printing on the back so you can have that done on yours as well. But it has essentially every option that you can have on a laptop from Origin. The CPU is the same CPU on the 17. So it's the i9-12900H. Both of these laptops share that CPU. This one currently only has 32 gigabytes, and I say that kind of humorously only. You can definitely upgrade this one to 64 as well. You just have to take the two slots out and upgrade them, but I didn't want to waste that. We currently have a C drive from Samsung inside of there for one terabyte and then a D drive for two terabytes. That D drive, which is used for us for logs, editing, gaming, all that sort of stuff, that uh, adds to the price, which I don't think most people need that insane level. Now, the one minor difference between this one and the other one is you know, it's the RTX 3080, but it is missing the TI. So, of course, the larger laptop gets the slightly better architecture, but we're talking fractionally in this case. They both have 16 gigs of dedicated video card RAM, uh, which is being fully used behind us well, it renders this video out. And just for a size comparison, that is Origins 17 versus Origins 15. I have two very small, honest gripes about their setup, and this is it. This is literally me being as unbiased as possible. There are two very small things I don't like about these laptops. One is that the sound could be a little bit stronger. Now, of course, most people use headphones, and I do too, but you know when I'm going to show Joel something that I think is funny, he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's hard to come overcome the hum from the air conditioning unit. And the second thing is personal preference. This makes sense having the delete key here or the period key, but I'm so used to being an enter key also there. Now the enter key's here. So it's just me having to relearn keys on the, the finger number pad, not a big deal. But that's honestly that first impression, what, 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 what it bothers me about it, that's it.
if rendering isn't your thing, I mean, it, it is for a lot of people nowadays, this is certainly a lot of you that view this channel are also heavy into Autodesk, Fusion, all the different types of CAD that there is. Everything I've done on my entire channel has been all done through Fusion 360, and this is another test I did that blows my mind on this laptop. So we're gonna load the entire four rotor model in and spin it around. That'll even chunk on my desktop PC, but we'll show you on this little 15 inch version of their laptop. So there you can see all of the collection of weird shit on the car. Engine turbo models from other vendors, including even like all the pivoting that the, the suspension is supposed to do. But look at this. Look at how insane that <laughs> is. It just reacts immediately. And so we can look and see that it's barely even pushing the graphics card at all. So from doing a CAD standpoint, this, this laptop is incredible. It's the baby one of the two. Uh, out of all the tests that matter most emotionally, when video games lag, it's absolute pure pandemonium. And so let's take a look at a video game right now. I downloaded Warzone for my own personal enjoyment. Continue appearing offline. Shit, the game needs to do an update. Since Warzone has to do a major update, they just released a new season. I downloaded it on this laptop after I was using this one, and so you can see we got 22 gigs remaining. No laptop, no matter how good or bad it is, will increase your download speeds. So that, that's, we're gonna wait for that one. So in the meantime, we're gonna fire up the baby one again and show you Warzone on a 15 inch laptop. I was just saying about the speakers being a little quiet. Well, I mean, they're actually overpowering me right now. So we're gonna go ahead and turn those down. We currently have a little FPS monitor for the corner, so I'm locking nice. it at 60. I'll go ahead and actually look at the options under here. Those of you guys know that advanced options are what makes or breaks you know, your graphics speed, but here we are still the 3080 laptop version. The screen can do a very high refresh rate, but I would, I'm would i just happy with having 60 solid. Now, I, there is a thing that kind of forces the 60 frames. Uh, I have that disabled, so we're just going to render at whatever speed it can do. And quality-wise, I mean, we're looking at on, 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 near tessellation, but on high quality. Everything, everything else is reasonably, like, hot. And that's what it defaulted to. So that's impressive. So we're going to go ahead and back this up, and we'll just pick something. I'm going to get my ass clapped immediately. Or I'm going to play the best game I've ever played in my life. This is the laptop at full, like, heat. Not that loud. The other one was actually way louder. So the heat management at full is not extreme, and especially if you're wearing headphones. It doesn't matter at all. But uh, we'll go ahead and pick a gun. Look okay, at this. We're at 110 frames per second on the brand new map in here. 100 frames a second. Looks good. Yeah. But the screen's really nice. Huh? Yeah. Let's see if I can beat beat somebody real quick. This is like you're playing with eyes. <laughs> there, see? Wow. Putting a hurting on people. I'll wait for this guy to come down. Okay, he, he's just dead. <laughs> he just <laughs> fell to his death. Um, but yeah, look at that. The responsiveness on a laptop, and I'm, I'm wireless, you know, because I get particular if I'm playing games, is so impressive. Smooth. And we'll just like watch this. All that pixelation, everything doesn't doesn't matter. My head is dropped underneath 100. Yeah, it's it's insane. I'm really good. I'm really good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's the game. 100 and some odd frames, like well above 60 frames, which is my personal minimum required. And we get killed again. So you can see on this little laptop how incredible it is and this is the real game this is the, the, even though we're in the lobby waiting for it to fill this is the end end game i need to kill somebody before i die because i need to prove to you guys i can do it oh no oh no <laughs> this is not good okay okay one more one more bro. just give me a shot oh Where is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, proof that having the best laptop doesn't make you the best player. <laughs>
uh, the only downside to the Origin laptops is that you now have no excuses for why you're trash. And I can't blame the laptop, so 